what's the difference between a cell FICO and a 4G modem? Keep it simple, keep it real. In this case, keep it local. The reason why I'm saying keep it local is that Cellfi is a brand. It's the only brand that is um, approved for use in Australia. If you are, however, watching this from overseas, any other country in the world, there might be other brands as well that you could potentially use. So always look for your local approved devices on specifically the network that you are going to use wherever you are in the world. Um, but here in Australia, Cellfi is the only legal brand and Cellfi Go, which are these compact units, there are three different generations. Uh, this is the one, there's a, there's a two and now there's also a Gen 4 out there that, um, that does a quite a lot more. It all has the basic same principles which I just want to address quickly here. Um, now Cellfi is obviously a common name for a lot of people. They immediately say, if you want better 4G connections, get a cell phone. It's not quite that simple, although it could be quite simple. So in this first video, I just want to quickly run through a few um, basics, what's the difference, and then I'm gonna do a few more videos um, subsequently after I see what the comments are down below this video, and also just getting some feedback on where I should go. Although I do know what I want to say about what else there can be considered or should be um, you know, taken into account when you look at a device such as a cell phone go. First thing, if I take a step back, what's the difference? Um, I'm gonna take myself and, and hopefully many of you back to um, the um, 2000s when we had a simpler way of seeing mobile internet or mobile coverage in general I guess which is if you see on the screen there's a there's two pictures and I would say an old cell phone and a laptop or computer that's kind of how you would see the difference between voice and data voice is classically what you would have had when you had a, f a mobile phone a cell phone or whatever you want to call it um, where you call your friends and you can send a basic text message that was it, that was simple. That's voice, and that's basically the kind of service that gets boosted or amplified really well with a cell phone go. What a cell phone does, it basically gets an antenna in, and it has an antenna coming out, and this is an amplifier or booster that takes what comes in from one network operator, makes it stronger, more powerful, gets it out on the other side, you can have a quite um, you know, a, a more comfortable com phone conversation. Data, on the other hand, is basically internet. It's basically what we would have done 15 years ago is you read your emails, you browse the internet. That's how simple it was. Now these days, it's not that simple anymore. Why? This is suddenly becoming difficult to distinguish between the two devices. Uh, oh, by the way, I have a Nighthawk M2 in my hand here. Um, that's just what I'm comparing today. Nighthawk has, you know, M1, M2, M5. You have the um, Huawei B818, the, um, the new ZTE modem, Optus, all the Teltonicas. They all fall in that class of product. That's a 4G modem a 4G router. That's another topic for another video. What's the difference between modem, router, and so forth? It, it kind of gets used interchangeably by, um, by everyday users, and I think for that consideration, we all know what we're talking about, that is fine. There are though, although, um, distinct differences, not for this video, not for today, so if you call it the 4G modem, if we call it the 4G router, we always talk about this thing, which is basically a device that gets a SIM card, connects to a network operator and gives you a Wi-Fi connection or an internet connection that you could use for a laptop, can use for a tablet, smart TV, all those devices. The problem is now with that picture that I have on the screen, smartphones kind of muddles the water a lot because a smartphone has all those features. It is a phone, but it's also a data device. You can do your WhatsApp, your Skype, you can do your Facebook and emails and browse the internet. Um, so it's not that clear anymore. I just kind of just split the two. If something is more important to you, then that's the feature that you really want to look at. If voice, if phone is the most important feature, a device such as the cell phone Go is your most probable solution that you need to think about. Um, I think about people in, in, in vehicles as they move, travel around, four wheel drives, um, maybe even a boat, emergencies, caravan users. You may not want to specifically look at internet use. You really want to be connected and you really want to have your phone coverage proper then a cell phone is the way to go. Also, I mean, you may have holiday homes or you may have a house that has a lot of shielding. The glass may be um, now completely treated so it's like a Faraday cage on the inside. There's no phone coverage on the inside. Cell phone is the booster, a repeater, the device that will do the job for you. Cell phone go, 
one brand only in Australia, which is the cell phone brand, but there's different models. Um, SISO, SISO means single antenna. So it's one antenna coming in, so one antenna going out. And that's important if we're going to compare this in my next video to Dara. Um, the one network operator, so you have to get one for Net, uh, Telstra, Optus or Vodafone. It's great for voice. Typical users, what we see, caravan users, boating, vehicles, kind of anything that, that's mobile. You have the mobile version of the cell phone. You just put it in there and you get a better cellular signal inside your vehicle. Um, fixed setup with bad cellular coverage. Um, and then I just have there in, in brackets, windows, walls, location, all those artifacts will cause potential trouble. That's where cell phone can give you a better phone signal. Now a 4G modem, or router on the other hand, um, a lot of positives. I, I, I'm not going to have any um, reservations there. I am very pro data connections in general for everything that we do, um, just because I feel that's the future, but that's just me. Um, first of all, there's multiple brands. We have the Teltonica devices, a lot of those. A lot of people have the Netgear models, and then what you, what you get from your network operator often is the Huawei, such as the B818 or the ZTE modems. All those brands are out there. You do need to make sure, as in comparison to having a legally approved device, the cell phone go, do make sure that your device that you buy is approved or endorsed and I mean that the the local ACMA regulatory services must have seen that device at some stage and your network operator would not really enjoy you using any random device that you buy from eBay. Um, it's not as bad as with a, uh, a booster because you you're just using a device that might cause trouble on the network so absolutely have to look for a locally supplied device that is approved um, sign off by the local network operators. Um, MIMO, so that's in comparison to the um, cell phone. This is going to be important for the next video. MIMO is two antenna systems. So you get um, a main diversity or whatever signal processing scheme the uh, device uses. But basically, two antennas comes into one modem. And the two antennas need to be unique antennas. Don't go in one antenna and just split it into two ports. I've had a video on that in the past. I'm going to mention that in the next video again. That's, that's a big thing that is a benefit to make data connections better. Something that you don't need to worry about on the cell phone. Um, SIM card. So this takes SIM card. It needs its own data package. But you can have dual SIM versions. And now I think specifically about the Teltonicos in our case, the RUTX 11. Um, Actually, many models of those. I can't think of them all now. The X11 is just the most common one that we currently... RUT950, RUT955, there we go. Now it starts to come through in my mind. Um, they all have dual SIM capability, and that means that there's more than one network operator possible, although it only uses one at any given time. Um, data only, but then in brackets I say Wi-Fi calling, because Wi-Fi calling, as per a previous video, actually enables you to use your phone as if you are connected to a mobile network anyway. So it is moving towards data connections can give you almost everything you need completely. Fun fact, I guess. Um, caravan, boat and vehicle question mark. We get a lot of people starting to install devices and antennas for their modems. Um, so that's, that's where things are going. So data connections inside a moving device is becoming more and more common. Great to know. I love it. Um, and then just as this comment, anybody wanting internet access can use an external antenna. That is important because it means external antennas is helping you to make the internet connection better. If there's trouble getting external antenna and you suddenly have a more reliable connection, which you can always buy from RF Shop at, uh, on our website, rfshop.com.au. That's all I have for today on this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And yeah, on the next one relating to cell phone, I'm going to demonstrate a way that you can actually get the best of both worlds, as I mentioned here. So that's the next one coming up uh, on this topic, not the next video in general. But um, I'm going to work for feed, wait for feedback on the comments below. So please feel free to let me know your experience on the cell phone and the modems. I'll package that all up, have a, have a think about what I hear, and then I'll present that all in the next video about this topic. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.